So what you'll see in this video is me changing the lamp in my Optoma projector. And I made a mistake because I blew on the dust while the lamp was out. And so I put a lot of dust inside in the optics. So don't do the same mistake as me. And then you'll see me um, fixing this mistake by uh, opening the projector apart and cleaning the lenses and everything. And then at the end, I will show a before and after. So this is the old lamp and it's full of dust and it's very dim. And this is a new one. And at this moment, the projector is open and the slot for the lamp is open. And I'm going to blow on the dust, all that dust. So don't do that. I want it just to clean the, the inside of the projector and so so here I'm putting the new lamp inside putting the screws back closing the lid and as you can see this is what happens when I turn it back on uh, and when projecting a dark image, a black image I had a lot of white or grey spots and you're going to see why is because when you look in the optics as you will see you can see the the mirror the back mirror and you will see there is a lot of dust on the mirror And so as you can see, when projecting a dark or black image, it was just uh, full of, of gray spots. So here I'm going to open the projector and try to clean everything. So first I remove the lamp. So you have one screw and then two other screws to take out. And then remove the new lamp again. So this is the back of the projector and you have to remove 8 screws. By the way this is an HD36 Optoma projector. The reference is HD151X even if it's not written on the, on the label. So here I took all these screws out and so now I can uh, take the lid off as you can see so on this side there is one cable you have to take off and on the other side you'll have a flat ribbon cable So you'll have to lift the socket. Then we'll have to remove this panel and there are five screws. And you'll also have to remove the back panel and it's four black screws and also all the screws that are located on each side of the VGA port and DVI port. So here I unplugged everything 
And don't do the same as me for this ribbon cable. Here, don't just pull it, you can open the socket. You just have to pull the little grey part of the socket. And for this one, you can't pull it either. You'll have to push on the hooks here. Here I just remove a small part that must be in the, the ground. So you'll have to put this screw out to be able to move this whole block. And while I'm here, just remember that uh, every time you take a screw out, put it somewhere uh, in the right order so that you can put it back together in the, in the reverse order. And remember to take a lot of pictures and not on a paper. Every screw that you take out, take a picture and draw on it, draw a number. Just remember where every screw goes. So here I can, I can move this whole block. But as you can see, there are a lot of cables again and I don't want to to take it out because I'm not very interested in that block. So here is just one cable that prevents me from moving the block. It's a cable for the for the right speaker. And so I'm just going to unplug it and just take it out. And that allows me to move the block just enough to access the the other block with all the optics. So now I'm going to remove this block. I already removed one screw here and you'll have to remove two other screws here and here. And so now it's done. As you can see the, the block can move but it is attached to this other panel and I don't want to remove it. There are a lot of screws again, so I'm just going to remove this one so that I can take the optics block and not the other one. Here you have to, you have to remove a plastic cover. Just turn it and take it out. And now you can remove the optics. So here you can see the color wheel. Full of dust. Here is one mirror behind the duct tape. Remove four screws to take this plastic cover out and you'll see two lenses. The one on the right you can take it out easily and the one on the left it must be glued. It can't move. So here I removed the duct tape and you can see the mirror. Now here is the mirror out and now yes you can you can you can remove one lens and now you can see the inside with another lens and with the back panel which must be a, both a mirror and also the LCD screen I guess and this is full of dust. I try to remove this part but it wouldn't come out so so you'll have to firstly remove the, f the the part on the front and you'll have to remove these four screws and so now you can take this part out
and now you can access the lens and the back mirror and it's full of dust so here we tried to clean everything and we didn't have an alcohol or something like that so we just used q-tips and we used uh, dry clothes etc and as you'll see later uh, it's, it's not that good you'd rather have uh, good products and make sure it's something that you can put on this back panel because well I don't know projectors very well but I guess that it's a mirror but it's also the the LCD the LCD screen I guess and so then I put everything back together in the reverse order and so here what you can see it uh, when the projector is on again uh, as you can see, um, we didn't make a very good job. There's no specks of dust anymore. Um, just one little piece of clothes here. But there are stains on the mirror. But as you can see, when projecting a black picture, there are no stains anymore. It's just good as new and so for reference this is before I change the lamp and this is with a new one <laughs> 